How do you see Gunther's icy title raid ending? More so when and against who? Well, I don't want to see him lose anytime soon. And I don't really have a name. It'll probably end up being Sheamus, quite frankly. Because mm. they keep pushing that Sheamus has never won the Intercontinental title. Mm. But, uh, you know, I love I love Gunther. But it's the same thing I've been talking about. I might be the only one. But they, they announced, like, Gunther has just passed 365 days as champion. And I was like, who gives a shit? I mean, like, every who doesn't have a record? Unless you just won the belt, who doesn't have a record right now? Like, everybody does. It's meaningless to me. Like, everybody's got a record, so I don't care if you've got a record. Even Roman's thousand days, like, who gives a shit? I mean, and the thing with Roman, too, is like, you know, I'm much more into Orange Cassidy's title reign. Yeah. Orange Cassidy has had 24 successful defenses in, like, eight months. Every single solitary one of them has been fucking great. And I think he has more defenses in the last eight months than Roman Reigns has had in a thousand days. Like, you know how Roman got to a thousand after WrestleMania? Sitting at home. He just didn't yeah. show up. Yeah. So I'm supposed to be impressed? Like, is this storyline or real life? In real life, I'm not impressed because it's fake. In storyline, I'm not impressed because the guy has got to a thousand by almost never wrestling. That's the storyline they tell. So I don't give a shit about everyone's records in WWE. They mean nothing to me. You know, if you had a smaller guy actually come up and actually beat Gunther, it would be huge for that guy. Yeah, it could be so Braun like, Breaker. Like Butch. Maybe Butch, somebody like that. If you have really loud neighbors, how would you resolve the problem? Shut your windows. And play loud music. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. My neighbors are very, very nice. So we're all good here. Flavor cake will you be celebrating with? Well, I I, uh, I have kids, so I got an ice cream cake from Baskin Robbins that uh, had a fucking tiger on it. All right. Was it a tiger? Why? No, just a tiger. Like, I went there to get a cake for me, and Hanalei went through the book and decided she wanted a tiger well, there you go. That's for my birthday. Doing. Sure. Yeah. That's what I got. I'm uh, doing a very quick scan on cage match here, or a profile DB, and it appears Gunther has defended the IC title exactly nine times this year. Nine times. Wow. In, a, in 365 days. Well, the, 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 in the year 2023. Oh, I see. Okay. In, but that's still six months. Yeah. yeah. On, on, that's on, on TV. Six, six ti- uh, nine title defenses in six months. Hmm. Orange, has, I believe, his entire reign has been this year. And it's, yeah, it's way, way, way more great matches. And that's what makes the, that's what makes the title reign memorable. At least it is in 2023. It may not have been what, what happened in 20, you know, in 1985 or whatever, but uh, that's how it works now. Uh, we do have a guy here, Jeff, who every week has to re- uh, remind us that he believes that Gunther is horrible. Wow. Well, Jeff, you're welcome to your opinion. <laughs> There's no got to be one guy always. No matter how shameful it is, but that's your opinion. You're entitled. <laughs> you're entitled to your dumbass opinion. And Stratfax here says, this is where I disagree with Brian. I don't see what's wrong with record reigns or listing your title accomplishments. It doesn't mean anything when there's so many of them at the same time, though. Well, yeah. He, uh, I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. I said I didn't care. Like, the idea of having a long reign is to make it meaningful and make your audience care. I don't care. Like, that whole Bianca title reign, what did it mean when she lost? Like, Nothing. I mean, is Asuka like a, a much, much bigger star because she ended that reign? No, it was meaningless when Asuka ended her reign. Like, nobody cared. Like, it should have been like a, a big headline the next day. Like, you know, record-breaking women's title reign ended. But it, no one saw it like that. They just saw it as Asuka won the title from Bianca with Mist or whatever. Like, nobody saw it as like a big, meaningful thing. So you did it. For what? For what? Like, the point is, if you're going to do a thousand-day reign, then at the end of the day, it needs to be meaningful that you put somebody over and you make somebody a big star out of it. And the thousand days is less meaningful now because of, A, how infrequently he even defends the title, and, B, how everybody has a record right now. Now, don't get me wrong. This is better than the alternative, like the Monday Night Wars, when every title changed hands every week. That was bullshit. But when... All your champions have been championed for our six months, a year, three years, whatever the hell it is. What that tells me is you have an incredibly shallow roster. And no one can challenge any of your champions. And that's not good. And then, you know, listing your title accomplishments. Like, you know the problem with listing your title accomplishments is? is It's a crutch. Okay, well, Miz has got to come out, and he's got to talk for 20 minutes. So he's got to spend time reminding us. It's the same thing with Austin Theory. Like, I could not possibly care less about Austin Theory. And every interview is exactly the same. I beat John Cena at WrestleMania. Whoop-de-doo. Great. Well, 
entertain me with your matches. Entertain me with your promos. Like, give me something. Because right now, and in fact, Jim Ross, of all people, made this point with Action Andretti. Action Andretti comes out, and it's always mentioned that he beat Chris Jericho. He beat Chris Jericho. He beat Chris Jericho. And finally, one day, Jim Ross just goes, you know what? You need to do something, brother, because this you beat Chris Jericho, it ain't cutting it anymore. Like, you got to do something. And what he did was proceed to lose some more. So, like, <laughs> at some point, I don't give a fuck if you beat John Cena at WrestleMania. Like, I need to see, I need to see you as a star. And right now what I see is they want another John Cena, and they're trying to have him be the exa- – he wears red, white, and blue. He's the uh, U.S. champion. He's got the same haircut. He's got a good body. They're trying to recreate everything they did with John Cena when he was, you know, toothless aggression or ruthless aggression, whatever the fuck it was. And it's like, I've been there, done that, dude. I've seen this with a guy who was way better promo, and uh, at least at the end, certainly not at the beginning, had way fucking better matches every time out. So that's the problem. I need more than to just hear the same shit over and over again. I got it. Miz was a WWE champion. He beat The Rock at WrestleMania. I got it. It means nothing to me. I need more than that. He did one fucking running Hurricane Runner, which wasn't even very good, and that meant more to me than the, the fact that he beat John Cena at WrestleMania or whatever. I don't even remember what his accomplishment was. Marrying Maurice. And then, you know, there's another one while I'm while I'm ranting. You can blame this on my uh, grill. If you're listening to this from WWE and mad at me, I don't care. Um, where was it? I think it was uh, SmackDown with uh, Charlotte. Or maybe it was something else. Um, I can't remember where it was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the Voodoo Ladies came out for a promo on SmackDown. And they are the NXT Tag Team Champions on SmackDown. And Shayna Baszler comes out. And she says, You guys think you're the Women's Tag Team Champions? What do you know about the history of the NXT Women's Tag Team titles? I'm the reason those belts were even created. And I just thought, I have no memory. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you the reason the NXT Tag Team titles were created? What happened? I don't remember. Anybody? I just remember, like, somebody won them in a tournament and then lost them at the end of the show or something. What's she talking about? I don't know. It was never explained on television. I was just supposed to know about this this prestigious title history off the top of my head. And uh, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. I got nothing for you. We're going to see if anybody else can come up with it here. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Who do you think Orange Cassidy should defend against at Forbidden Door? Yano. Okay. Sure. I mean, honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot right with that. <laughs> All right. That's a very good answer. Let's see. We have any more here. Do you think Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland will ever happen? <laughs> I won't lie. I am currently skeptical we're ever going to see that singles match. I, I I no longer care. That ship has sailed, yeah. Yeah, let's just, let's just move on with our lives. Someone here says uh, Lee and Swerve is set for the first collision. Is Who, it? Who knows? It's probably one of those 500 matches Excalibur announced the other day that I couldn't even pay attention to. Wow. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey, uh -oh. what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dumb! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. Oreo. No, man! Hey, no! Hey, I love you guys! I love you!
when can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.